What is going on you guys? Jeff Ashton back with another Mustang video and today we are going to be installing a set of Euro tail lights on to my 2016 Mustang GT and they are still in the packaging. I haven't even unboxed these bad boys. I have looked at them but they are still in the packaging ready to go brand new and I'm really excited about this. I think it's really going to change the appearance of my car. Now I definitely have nothing against the red tail lights, and I love the red outlook, but I wanted to change it up a little bit, and the Euro clears, I think, were definitely the way to go for me. Now, I know people are gonna mention this right away off the bat, since I'm not doing it in this video, but I will be taking care of the red markers down below, as well as the side markers in a future video. So, I know they have to be changed. I definitely am gonna be addressing that, so do not worry, that's on the list. Very soon. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get these swapped out. And one thing I will mention is that the connectors on the Euro tail lights are gonna be different. So it won't be blink, blink, blink. It'll be blink, blink, and then like amber or something like that. In today's video, we're just gonna swap the connections over since the connector to the uh, American wiring harness or the US wiring harness is different. So anyway, let's go ahead and get these unboxed, get these set up on, uh, on a table here and we will start dismantling or taking out the factory tail lights and go from there. Okay, so let's get these guys out of the packaging. We'll set them up on my little tool car here. This thing is super handy. Okay, here we go. And these are the connectors I was talking about. They are different than the US models. So we'll be changing that here in a little bit. Tail light number two. And here are the Euro tails. I need to move these around in a better order here. Ooh, careful. Okay. So here they are. I absolutely love the cleared out look on these. And I mentioned this in another video. These remind me of the V06 cleared out tail lights. I know it's been done on other cars, but that's just what it reminds me of. And I always have loved that kind of cleared out look. So, um, definitely really nice. Also, let me know what you guys think of the cleared out look on the tail lights. Do you guys like it, or do you think the red looks better? So, uh, let me know in the comment section below if you're interested to hear your thoughts on that. I know it's uh, a preference kind of thing at the end of the day, and like I said before, I really could go either way. I just wanted to change it up. Not bad, my truck was already pretty clean. So, basically first, we're going to remove the plastic clips on each side. I'm gonna get a light in here so we can see everything a little bit better. It actually doesn't look too bad on camera, but we're gonna pop the plastic clips off and pull back the uh, little liner here on the side so we'll have access to removing the tail lights. Okay, so I went ahead and set up my LED uh, light across here. This is the same one I use underneath the hood. I had a lot of people message me about this and I'll go ahead and link it up one more time for you guys that were interested in it uh, on Amazon. This thing was like 80 bucks and it is awesome. You can use it while you're working inside the interior, under the hood, or even in the trunk is what I'm doing now, but you can uh, pretty much get a variety of uses out of this thing, and it was amazing during the Whipple install, so you can see how much better the lighting is that I have now, but um, we're gonna start tearing this thing down. First ones, they just screw out really, really simply by hand. There's gonna be four of these total, two on each side. One, two, I'm just gonna put these right in the trunk. So I don't think we're gonna lose them there. Right off. Same thing up here. And then this plastic trim piece will pop right out of place. Just gonna pull out over the studs and you're gonna have to go up and over this little lip right here. You'll kind of feel it grab a little bit up and over that little lip. It's actually just the weather stripping you're going over. And I might have to put you guys down because there's actually another kind of lip underneath here that the uh, liner sits on top of. And I'm just gonna start by removing just one plastic clip from each side. And these things are pretty fragile sometimes. So if they break, it's not a bad idea to have uh, an extra set. They usually don't break, but it's not a bad idea to have some extra ones because the teeth on them do get kind of messed up every time you pull them out. So now you can see we definitely have a lot more clearance in here. And that's all we have to remove to get the taillights out. There is just, it looks like just three studs holding the taillights, or is it four studs, 
holding the tail light into place, three or four, I think it's just three. But uh, three studs and one connector. And there's a couple of kind of plastic dowels that pop through here. So hopefully you guys can see that over in this area, yep. And uh, we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna pop the one clip out on the other side and this is just gonna be a really, really simple process. You're gonna hear me complaining about this probably in a lot of videos about how hot it is because today is actually officially the first day of summer that I'm recording this and you can feel every freaking bit of it down here. So it is brutally hot. I mean, it's about as hot as it gets. As hot as it gets. And it's not, it's not just the temperature, it's the humidity down here in Florida. That is insane. And what I'll actually do first, just so I don't forget, is pull the connector off right here. Just a little push pin pops right out. I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side right now. All right, so those are both out, and then we just gotta take the 10 millimeter nuts off of these studs right here. There's one loosened up. There's two. And then number three will be right back here. And they'll uh, be finger tight after you break those loose. So they just spin off. And the tail light should just slide right out now. So you guys can see that from the other side. And there is a grommet over here as well to stop water from coming in. So I'm gonna push on the grommet from the inside and that pops right out. Be careful with the connector when you're pulling it through. And easy enough, guys, the tail light is out. So super, super simple to do that. And I'm just gonna pop the other side out real quick and we will get the connectors switched over. Get these other three nuts off right now real quick. Okay, you guys, I told you that was going to be simple. Both tail lights are out. I mean, that was literally five minutes to get those out. Five minutes. One plastic clip, three nuts on the back, and then just pop the grommet out and the connector. Super, super simple. Anybody can do this installation with simple, simple hand tools. You don't need much at all. So uh, here's the old tail lights on the ground here. Pretty much in great condition. I could sell these if I wanted to. I know somebody's gonna ask. I've already had a bunch of people ask me if I'm selling them, and no, I like to keep my stock parts, so I will not be selling these, and um, basically, they are worth a decent amount of money. These factory LED tail lights cost just as much as the Euro tail lights if you were to mess one up, so they are very expensive. Let's just say that. <laughs> so uh, now I'm gonna bring, these, bring this stuff inside because I'm sick of sweating, even though my AC doesn't work that well here. Uh, we're gonna bring both sets of lights in and get the connector swaps. All right, you guys, so uh, we have the factory tail light right here in front of us, and then you have the OEM US uh, connector. There is a little white plastic piece inside of here uh, that you need to remove before getting the uh, actual wires out individually. And what the best way I found to do that is there's a little uh, clip at the bottom here that you need to press down on. And then from there, once you have that kind of depressed, you can use your pry tool to grab on somewhere from the top and then pull outwards while you're doing that. So you got the idea from what I just did there. Just be careful with your fingers there as well. So it likes to go back into place pretty easily there too. So you just want to be careful with that connector at the same time. So just like that. Uh, you're gonna have to work it both ways, but I just got it from pushing that bottom one down and then pulling outward a little bit. And now it should come out the rest of the way pretty easily. All right, just like that. So you may have to be uh, a little aggressive with it, but uh, it is plastic and it's not really gonna break. So just be careful when you're doing it. And um, now we can go ahead and remove the connectors from the inside. Now, one other thing, I, there is a diagram online that you can find that will show the basic uh, layout on how to swap this from the uh, US connector to the Euro connector because you do have different wires that are gonna go on the Euro. So they are a different color, like you will see right here. You have a couple different colors. So the diagram is gonna be slightly different or the layout since you have different colors on the wires. So back to the US connector, the best way 
I found to remove these is to go from the front here. And if you look from the back, there's these little uh, plastic tabs on the inside. Basically what you're doing is just releasing that tab on the inside. So if you go from the opposite side here, what you can do, there's two on the top here and then four on the bottom, is just kind of take your tool and just push in and then you can kind of pull upward on that tab from this direction very, very easily. So I'll show you that real quick. It literally just pops right out like that. All right, I'm gonna move on to the bottom now. Right here, there's just four across the bottom like I mentioned. Gonna feel for that little tiny clip. Got it, and right out. Just three more to go. Feel for that clip, got it, right out. You'll know right away when you feel it. You want a very thin tool to do this so you can feel exactly what you're looking for and get that clip. And just like that, the OEM connector is off. Uh, what I would recommend doing, just so you know exactly what I'm talking about before you go ahead and do this, is shine a flashlight in there and you'll see the plastic tab just so you can see what you're doing a little bit better before you're doing it because it's very easy if you know what you're actually doing to pull those tabs out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the Euro tail light, get the connector off that, and then I'll show you the layout uh, to swap this onto the Eurotail. Okay, now that we have all the connectors out on the Eurotail, we can switch the US connector on in place of the Euro connector that you guys see here. So uh, we are gonna retain the pl plastic white clip as well once we have the new wires in place. And I'm gonna pop the new wires in, then I'll show you the layout that they're supposed to be in. Black one's gonna go in the bottom left hand corner. So black is right here. and they just snap right back into place. The next one is gonna be this red and yellow one. It's almost like a pinkish and yellow, whatever you wanna call it. Pop that guy into place. And that's gonna be it for this bottom row. Going to the top, we're gonna to take the green and purple wire. And this is gonna go in the second slot right here. Again, just snaps right into place. Now we're gonna take the solid pink, put that right next to it. Like so, snaps right in, followed by the blue. And lastly, the white. Just like that, so very, very easy get those back into place, easier than getting them out, obviously. Uh, but it really isn't too bad. Like I said, just make sure you look in the connector with a light first so you know what you're doing. So uh, make sure you look in there and see what you're doing before you start prying and breaking stuff. So now we're just gonna pop the connector right back into place, the little white clip, and we are done and ready to reinstall this tail light. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the other side, and uh, then we're gonna reinstall these. So it's the same process for the other side. Same exact layout, so I'm not gonna show it twice, but let's go ahead and uh, clip forward and we'll get the uh, tail lights back on. Okay, now if you're OCD like me, get my light back on here, boom. Uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and clean out this area behind your tail light. Got a little leaf back here, that would bug me. Get that guy out. Go ahead and throw this stuff away in a second. I'm OCD as anything, so this has gotta be clean before I put the tail light back in. Very, very quick and easy to do that, guys. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pop each of the taillights back in place first, starting with the connector, pushing that through, and then popping the grommet into place. Do the same thing over here, connector through, and we're in. Okay, so, little teaser look at what we're gonna be looking like all finished up, man, that's gonna look sick. Oh my gosh, love it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the tail lights up first, make sure everything's working properly before I go ahead and bolt these back up. It's only the three bolts, but just wanna make sure. So, oh, we're upside down. Oh, there we go. Turn the lights on real quick. 
Oh, there we go. Ooh, there they are. They work. That's good. Let's put the blinker on. Okay. So this is what we're looking at. So you still have one, two, three. It's just, holy crap, that is bright as anything. Jeez. That is brighter now that the, that's uh, clear instead of red. Holy gosh, that's blinding. So it's red, red, amber, and that doesn't bother me one bit. I don't know how that bothers people, but I think it's actually kind of cool. So it's still full sequential. For some reason, I thought it only lit up two, but it's still full sequential. I actually really, really like that with the amber at the end. So there is no way, no way I'm changing that. That, that does not bother me one bit. Let me know if that bugs you guys, because I know some people ask me about it, and that really is not a big deal to me at all. I actually think it's better, if anything. Such an easy install for a dramatic difference. Hit the hazards. Okay, and you still get the ambers on the hazards too. And they actually look the same when the lights are on for the most part. It's almost like a little more pinkish, the tail lights, because they're clear instead of just a straight red. Oh, damn, that's gonna look mean. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna bolt these back up real quick. I'm not gonna put you through that. You know how easy it is. Just the three bolts, the one plastic clip, and then these two plastic uh, guys that screw back on. So I'm not gonna put you guys through that. I'm gonna clip right through this and show you this all finished up. All right, you guys, so here it is all finished up. I absolutely freaking love it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love it. I'm in love with it. I think it looks great. Again, I'm gonna be addressing the red side markers and the red kind of bumper markers on the back there. So those will be getting swapped out very soon to something more suitable to the style of my car. But man, what a start with these freaking taillights, man. Looks mean. I'm also planning on swapping the tips out for some polished tips you better go with the theme of my car. I think that'll look a lot better, the route that I've gone so far. So that is on the list as well. You guys should see that very soon. Still gonna stay with the courses, obviously. Go with the course of tips, just in the polish finish. So take a look at the car, man. Oh my gosh. I This thing is coming together so well. Oh my gosh. The rivets on the wheels integrate so well with the tail lights, with the five liter emblems, the pony emblem on the front. Give you guys a couple of angles here. You know what, let's throw in some uh, little cinematic shots here real quick. Babe, yeah, down, down. I can't really so off in the cloud. I got that cake oh, down off a of her say. Can I just say that popo ain't around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up on the track now, running like I'm bold. I hope you enjoyed those quick shots there. This is another angle I quickly fell in love with. That side angle with just a little bit of that white from the side. Oh man, this thing is coming together. It is definitely coming together exactly how I want it to. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I had a blast making this video for you guys today, and I am in love with yet another mod that I've done to this thing. So anyways, you guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. We will see you in the next one. Hey, yeah, down, down. I can't really Sewn off in the cloud I got that cake oh, Down off of her say Can I just say That popo ain't around Yeah, yeah, yeah Get up 